Now, if set up, it would mean big spending decisions on transport, housing and development will be made here in the Midlands instead of in Westminster. Well, the government has championed the idea in its city's devolution bill announced in the Queen's speech to our political correspondent, Alison McKenzie. Um, Alison, what's the significance of all this? Take us through it. Well, it's a big flagship policy for the new Conservative government, devolving power over spending from here to where people live in the Midlands. Well, today there was an emergency meeting held by the Labour-controlled Coventry City Council to look at this idea, and they know they want a big authority to deal with, so they say let's combine with Birmingham, the Black Country, other councils in a combined authority across the West Midlands. Why would that work? We checked out the opinion of Councillor Kevin May. Transport is a, a classic example in terms of at the moment we feel that the public transport certainly in Coventry is not as good as it could be. Um, the opportunity to have that greater control, like in Manchester where it looks like they may have direct control of buses, would be a real tangible benefit for the people of Coventry and the wider West Midlands. Well, one of the requirements of the government is for the new combined authority, if set up, to have a, a metro elected mayor. Interestingly, though, in Coventry before, they rejected the idea when asked that in 2012. So, Alison, what is the alternative to this plan? And I suppose what our viewers would want to know is, do local people get a say? Well, on that first, yes, the decisions made today in Coventry are looking at the feasibility of a referendum, asking people do they agree with such an idea. But there is uh, an alternative view from the Conservative opposition. They say, why go with Greater Birmingham and the Black Country? Why not let uh, look towards Warwickshire? That makes more sense. And this is the view tonight of the opposition leader on Coventry City Council. Coventry had its own real uh, identity and we are surrounded on three quarters uh, of our boundaries by Warwickshire and therefore we think that uh, the decision that's made today to actually agree in principle to go into a combined authority with Birmingham and that country is fundamentally wrong. So, lots to decide in the months to come. You're going to hear a lot more about this from me and all the councillors in that area. They want devolved powers, they want that control over spending, but there are rules and regulations set by here that they'll have to follow. We'll find out more tomorrow. We look forward to it. Alison, thank you very much. Well, you've been letting us know your thoughts about this story on our Facebook page today. Steve Kerwood says, being part of a Greater Birmingham, that's terrible. We would rather uh, Solihull become part of Warwickshire. And uh, Ian Golby Timmis uh, does well, almost agrees really, because he says it won't be long before everyone within that greater bracket are being called brummies. While the debate continues, if you want to join in, go to uh, facebook.com/itv central. Now you're watching ITV News Central. Still to come on the programme this evening, Worcester Warriors leave it late to take themselves into the top tier of rugby union. Now, though, as the dust settles in Westminster and the majority Conservative government sets to work, there are big questions about the future of the Labour Party. It failed spectacularly to win back support in the Midlands. Well, one of the key target seats which should easily have been within their grasp was Nuneaton in Warwickshire. Labour in the Blair years, now remaining Conservative. So what happened? Here's Gareth Owen. This is the Camp Hill estate in Nuneaton once a mining community, staunchly Labour. Places like this were supposed to be the springboard to win the Nuneaton constituency back from the Conservatives. It didn't work out that way. I spent an hour in this former Labour stronghold. I couldn't